Shouties everywhere. This is Editorialen, and that's Skeev. Skeev doesn't understand social distancing. Someone please explain. Flippers, face, space to Skeev. Because I've tried, and I've failed. He keeps nooting something about being in a bubble. But I don't see any bubbles. Bubbles? My bubbles! 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 Tonight, I shall be mostly reading One Snowy Night, which was written quite a long time ago now by my who mum and illustrated by Susanna Ronchi. Because it's about a dog and about Christmas. No pigs. There's only a lack of pigs in this book. But it's alright, it's not all about me. So, if you're sitting comfortably and at least two metres apart from each other, then I shall begin. One snowy night, as the Christmas bells tolled, poor little dog Jingle was lost in the cold. His paw prints were covered by snow as it fell, as to find his way home, Jingle followed the bell. He came to a softly lit window to see the twinkling lights of a large Christmas tree. Here I am, home, Jingle cried in delight. But as he looked closer, he saw in the light, it was a family of snow hares whose home he could see, all gathered with baubles to hang on their tree. Soft plumes of smoke from a chimney nearby made Jingle look up to the clear winter sky. He thought of his cosy warm basket that lay in front of the log fire on such a cold day. This could be my home, Jingle thought as he neared. That could be my fireplace, the little dog cheered. Through snow-covered panes, little Jingle peered in. And there were two fox cubs with stockings to pin. For this was their fireplace for Santa to fill. So on Jingle went through the harsh winter chill. As Jingle marched onwards, his heart full of care, the sweet sound of singing rang out through the air. Jingle bells, jingle bells, I know that song. But who could it be, boldly singing along? It might be my friend leading me to my door. But in through the window, the little dog saw the polar bear cubs, how superbly they played. And though he was cheered by the music they made, Jingle longed for his home in his warm, cosy bed. So, crying, bravo, he continued ahead. Through deep winter snow, little Jingle trudged on, till feeling bewildered, he stumbled upon a big wooden house with its doors open wide, where eight patient reindeer stood huddled inside. This isn't my home, Jingle said with a sigh, but one of the reindeer saw him passing by. Poor little Jingle, you'll soon be all right. You'll find your way home on this cold, snowy night. And Jingle drew close to hear this reindeer say, Follow the bells and they'll soon lead the way. That winter night as the Christmas bells pealed, At last through the darkness a house was revealed. It looked so familiar, its walls decked in light, Where icicles shone in the chill winter night. Jingle knocked on the door with his shivering paws, And there was his master and friend, Santa Claus. Jingle, you're home, Santa chuckled with glee, and you're here just in time for a present from me. A shiny red collar and bell on a chain. Now Jingle would never go missing again. The end. <coughs> oh, no, apparently, no, it's not the end, because Skeev wishes to sing for you. <coughs> Wait, wait, what are you singing, Skeev? <coughs> oh, okay, okay. Here's Skeev with his charming rendition of Silent Night. Sorry. Silent Newt. Newt! Well, you can't say he didn't give it a try. Merry Christmas, Felties! And it really is 